The white label feature allows you to brand the plugin as if it was your own. You can access it by going to DVDM Pro and under the Advanced tab, make sure to select the White Label Mode tab. There are a lot of usable settings here. First, you can change the plugin's name, you can type anything you want, such as my custom name. Uh, when adding a name, make sure not to use special characters. You can also change plugin's URL, you can swap our default icon, you can change author's name and add a custom URL for it and add a description for it. Once done, make sure to save the settings by hitting this button here. On the left, you can enable or disable plugins update notifications. You can also choose to hide the plugin from the left side menu. That means uh, this option here will be gone after enabling this option. You can also hide the plugin from the customizer. Those are the options that you see when you go to Appearance, Customize. These three on the top here. Also, you can choose to hide the Elegant Themes pre-made layouts tab. This is the tab that you see when you're adding a new layout on a page. This one right here. If we set this option to yes and save the settings, let me quickly reload the page. This uh, tab should be gone. Let's quickly test. And there we go. As you can see, the pre-made layouts tab uh, isn't visible anymore. If you decide to keep the plugin in the left side menu, you can replace the whole plugin's dashboard page with your custom content. And you do that by editing this content here under the customer contact page. This is the default custom content. You can click the preview button to see how it is going to look like. And once edited, you are ready to activate the white label mode. Click the button and before activating it officially, make sure to pay attention to the step one. This is your secret URL that you can use to access the plugin settings even once the custom page is enabled. So make sure to copy this to your clipboard and save it somewhere on your computer. Now just hit the activate now button and wait for a moment. You can see it's enabled now. Uh, because the DVDM Pro has changed to your custom name and icon has changed as well. And you can see here that status says white label mode is active. If you navigate away now and if you try to go back to the plugins dashboard, you are going to see the custom content instead. To go back to the settings, you want to uh, go to your secret URL and from there you can uh, deactivate the white label mode or change the settings. That's it, thanks for watching.